in here. Oh, I think we're gonna get a cinematic, I'll, so I'll have to elaborate on that again in a second. Flip the camera! Flip it! Am I going to get a cinematic or not? Oh! Hello. I got a fish key. Sweet. Excellent. Wonderful. Alright. Uh, cinematic! Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving bleh, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true, he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath, he's a really sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura, how old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura! She phased through the door! Okay. So, we got a letter. And we have just found out that there is no way that Mary could have died because Laura has just turned eight. There's a piano here. I remember how much Mary liked to play the piano. She wasn't very good, but I still loved to hear her play. That was so long ago, before we were even married. Why am I thinking of that now? I think we can look at the thing on the wall, and then we'll get back to what I was talking about again! Ah. A drawing done by Laura. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Anyway. But yes, so we've made that interesting discovery. And James is starting to question, well, he was already starting to question everything about himself, but he's really questioning now. I believe once we go through this door, there will be enemies about. Yeah. Where? Because there's some pretty serious stuff here. Like I said, uh, there he is. Hi. No. Shit. No, 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 no. Run! Ah! Let go of my face! Stop it! No! Oh my god. Oh my lord. I know! Oh crap. Get off of me! Oh shit. I need to go into the menu and fix my face. 
I have a lot of ampoules, let's use that. Oh god. I just want to talk about my opinions. No! Ah! Get off! Ah! Kick it! Oh my lord. Okay, so there's another one around the corner. Give me a minute. Let me reload. Oh my god, I'm out of handgun bullets. Well, let's equip the shotgun. I have a lot of shotgun bullets, and I'll get more handgun bullets in a minute. Can I have that? No. Alright, where are you? I saw you. There you are. One. Two. Thank god. Stomp it. Huh! Anyway! Where the hell was I? Oh yes. Saving people. Can I read this plaque? About coffee. Lock is broken. All right, then. What is this? It is a room. Oh, it's the front lobby. All right. Get Thank you. Should be a save point in here somewhere. There it is. Oh, uh. All right. Hotel lobby. Good. Oh my god! Anyway, to wrap up what I was saying, because I've prattled on for, like, ever. There are some people that you just can't save. Like, you can't help them. Painting is hanging here. There's nothing unusual about it. Well, then fine. I'm guessing that's what you'll say here, too. Yes. Gift shop. Lock. Broken. There's a letter. Hold on a moment. Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. Wonderful. Can I go in here? Yes. A key! 312, the key to the room where Mary and I stayed. Cool. Can't go in there yet. Oh. Phone is broken. For some reason. Oh, he's broken. I cannot open it. Alright then. Let's get out of here. Other things that we need to do before we can go up to room 312 as much as we might like to just go up there. Anyway. You can't save... Put it save in quotes. You can't save a person who does not want to be. And that may sound ridiculous. You're like, well, I mean, if someone's in trouble, wouldn't they want you to come and help them? And yeah, I'm sure that they do. But... Sometimes, it's a, it's a little hard to explain. Sometimes when people get really depressed. Hi. No. No. Stamp it. Bang. Go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, and crush it! Okay. Sometimes when people get depressed, have anxiety, so on and so forth. Oh, thank God! They uh, toilet paper. I don't need that right now. <laughs> well, all right. Implying we might need it in the future. Nothing. Okay. When people get really depressed, let me see how many handgun bullets I've got. First of all, reload that. Going in the wrong direction. Thirty. We'll use this if we see anything that isn't an abstract daddy. How's that? If we see an abstract daddy, we're killing it with the shotgun because I am just not dealing with that. Lock is broken. Nothing else here. Broken. Broken. Alright. Back up. Um, when people's depression gets bad or their anxiety is really bad, sometimes, even though they don't like the situation they're in, they're too afraid to leave it. You know, like an abusive relationship or having extreme anxiety about a situation. And, unfortunately, as much as you may care about them, if their fear outweighs high... Oh, right. Stamp it. There's another one. Please be dead. Thank you. If their fear outweighs their want to be out 
All right, so we need a key for Venus's, Venus's tears. Oh, my Lord. What is this? We're probably going to plunge the basement, aren't we? A can of paint thinner. Does it work? Oh, it's not even... Wow, I can't even look at it. All right, then. So, no. Camera, can I? But if their fear of whatever is stronger or is very strong than their desire to get away from said fear, they can outright reject your help. So as much as you would want to be like, oh, you know, like in the case of somebody in an abusive relationship, for example, you may say, oh, you know, let me help you. You know, that person's no good for you. They they treat you so badly. Please let me help you. And they may say, oh, well, they're not that bad. And you're like, oh, but they, they hurt you all the time. Why would you stay? Like, oh, well, I, I know that they love me. And you know that's kind of a weak heart answer because they're too afraid. Can I ring the bell and get some service? There's a bell here. Even if I ring it, I don't think anyone will come. Well, geez, Jim. Jaff only. Health kit. We need those. First aid kit acquired. Anything. Nothing inside this drawer. Nothing interesting written on the memo pad. Aw. I thought it would be funny if we had a note from Harry. Anything interesting here? No, but we are looking at these. Shotgun chill. Shotgun chill. Handgun bullet. Handgun bullet. Man, there's a lot of bullets in this in this place, but yeah. So I digress. Can't hear anything receiver because the phone line be cut. I think we can get in here, right? Bag is locked. Does the fish key open the bag? I seem to recall that the fish key opened the bag. Unless it doesn't. We're gonna find out. Fish key? Yes! Wonderful! And we got another key. Room 204. Sweet. We need to find more music boxes. We only have one. I think there's three. But anyway, so sadly, a person, you know, Eddie is a person like that, where you can't help him because he's already concluded that that they're right and he is a piece of shit and therefore is not worthy of being protected or saved or rescued or anything like that. So no matter what James might have wanted to do, I seriously doubt that he could have saved Eddie. Now, if you want an alternate ending, there is a thing in here for that. It's a book. It does not look like a room to delete. But you need a new game plus for that. But you can read these books. These are pamphlets. Something important over here, though. Let's take care of give, help drink, and book open on the desk. It looks like a medical book. I've already read enough medical books. None of them ever did any good. Isn't there something else I can see? I think that might be it. I thought there was a scene here. All right, well, in order to get one of the alternate endings, we need to come in here and read some books. All right, so I think there's another room like that. Maybe there's a tape recorder. I'm trying to remember. But yeah. So what is that? Abstract Daddy, give me my shotgun! Don't you keep walking while I'm in the menu, I swear to God. Where to all that is holy? Bang. I know there's another one coming. Crush it, crush it, crush it and run! Crush it and run! No, James, no! Oh, we've been boxed in the corner! No! Dang! Die, you asshole! Oh, they hurt so bad. They do so much damage. I hate it. Oh, can make me use all my precious health kits. My precious beverages. Let's reload this. I forgot to. Reload. Thank you. Alright then. Alrighty then. Can we go in any of these doors? Broken. Anywho, now what I want to say about the prison before, if I can flip the camera, 
the prison is where this game shines as far as its overall construction goes because that's where, as weird as this place is, that's where it gets weird. Like, it's just nightmare mode from the start. Oh, use the key to room 204. This is where we found Maria dead. Like, I know this number is significant. Can I go into this door? Or is this not a door? That's a closet. I know you're looking at something. Hold on. Ha! Nothing interesting on the memo book. Well, I don't want the memo. I want whatever that is. Employee elevator key. Perfect. Oh. Get into the room next door. Or can I just walk in? Oh, perfect. Wonderful. All right. So if we look at this. All right. We can't do anything with this. We do not have the code. But if we look over here. Photos are scattered all over the bed. What is this? It's a photo of the, of the, uh, part of the photo has been colored over the marker. It's a photo of that, uh, suitcase. Can I not look at it? Can I get out? Thanks. So, if we go into our inventory. If you remember, we got a can of thinner from the elevator. I fear that in reality that might destroy the photo, but... Miss. Cool. I don't know if it's random every time. I seem to recall the last time that I played this game, it said hell. Alright. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take it there. Can I have? Send early music box. Yay. Can I leave this way, or is this going to be locked? Oh, now it's unlocked. Sweet. Back out in the hall. But yeah. The prison is where the design of, of the game shines through. And it's... Oh my god, did I get myself flipped around? Okay, here we go. How are we on this floor? Have I looked at everything? I've looked at everything except for the room behind us, which is room 203. Locked? Yeah. Alright. So now where do we go? But the way that we walk through this game, actually, is a little bit like, okay, that's the hall, that's the cloakroom, can we go into the hall? Okay, so we have this chunk over here to deal with. It's a little bit like, almost like the path of life that James has been following up until this point. Is it starts out with the um, apartment. And the apartment, while long, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty tame. Can I go? Oh my god, where am I in space and time? I walked out of here and now I'm all messed up. Okay, so I need the door behind me. Does that door open? Yes, it does. Oh my god. Hey everyone, it's Chaos Child. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not leave a like or a comment? Or subscribe to me for even more videos. Thanks again!